All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome to the 2022 Unique Benefits in the Workplace. Um, I'm Alison Miliotto. We'll talk about me a little later. I just want to remind everyone, as you just were notified, this presentation is being recorded, uh, so you will have access to it later. Uh, disclaimer, we are providing information uh, for general information purposes. Every situation is unique. This is our lawyer's disclaimer that we're always asked to uh, share. So make sure that if you do have any questions, you're following up with um, the presenters later on with your specific questions, because everyone's business is always unique. Real quick, who are we? So we are Blue Lion. We are hosting this webinar today, bringing in some great resources that we found along our journey um, to make sure we're sharing them with our prospects, clients, and our network as well. We are an outsourced HR consulting company. We currently have nine HR consultants and four um, support staff. So we've grown a lot over the last few years. We're real people with personality. Anyone that knows us can attest to that. And we're also a 1% company, which is super important to us as a business. Uh, if you want to learn more, definitely check out our website. Who am I? I'm your host today. I'm Allison Miliotto. I'm one of the co-founders of Who Lion. I have my master's in business, uh, my background's in operations and HR. I love to travel. I also love to snowmobile. And I have a only child that is four-legged with lots of fur. <laughs> Quickly, I wanted to recap and talk about what we talked about last year. So each year when we're doing these uh, webinars, we're trying to bring in different uh, resources and different um, partners. So quickly, if you want to look at our 2021, this does still live on our YouTube channel. We actually also have our 2020 out there. So there's two other presentations that have different benefits than the ones we're talking about today. So there's a lot of stuff out there. Um, pledge 1%, similar to what I just talked about. I'm just going to read through a couple of these CPR training, home cleaning services, pet insurance, travel planners, mortgage specialist, volunteer time off. Uh, so those are a lot of the great stuff that we covered last year. Again, check out our YouTube channel and you can find that recording from last year's webinar uh, and get up to date on that. Today's presenters are um, here on the slide here. We're going to go through pretty rapid fire. I will remind everyone that's participating, we are going to be sending out after the presentation a copy of the slide deck as well as all of the contact information for everyone that's on the presentation today. So while you're you know, participating and watching, don't feel like you have to be writing down everybody's information real quick. Uh, you will be provided with all of that after our presentation uh, in a follow-up email in the next week or so. So let's talk a little bit about benefits. So when you're looking at benefits, when we're talking with our clients about benefits, everyone's trying to be more competitive. We are in a landscape right now where hiring is not a fun activity. Um, so we're really trying to make ourselves look more uh, valuable when we're out prospecting. And also we're trying to retain staff and ways to retain staff is to have better benefit package. This really gives you a good picture of all of the different type of benefits that you could focus on. So 20 years ago, when you use the word benefit, it meant health insurance. It meant a 401k, maybe. Now, when we're talking about benefits, health insurance, vision, dental, 401k, that's standard. That's expected in most positions, most professions. So we've really moved and morphed into all these other facets, whether it's spiritual well-being, physical well-being, academic, financial, career, so there's a lot of different verticals that you can look at when you're looking at benefits. And this kind of really helps you to think outside the box on just that medical and 401k type of platforms. So that's really a lot of the stuff we're gonna talk about today. So we are gonna kick it right off and get started with Debbie Rossman. Yeah. Look at me go from Effortless Kitchen. I love this benefit. Um, I really like to talk about this when I'm talking with my remote clients. So a lot of teams have moved remote these days, and we're trying to bring everybody back together and get that connectivity. And I really think this is a great uh, opportunity for that. And even teams that are still working together, it's still something completely different. Take it away, Debbie. All right. Setting my timer. All right. So um, I'm Debbie Brosnan. My business is The Effortless Kitchen. I started it um, during the pandemic as a way to help people get inspired in the kitchen because everybody was bored out of their minds and trying to figure out what they're making for dinner. Um, I teach virtual cooking classes. I do corporate cooking events. 
Um, I lead culinary travel and I am a soon to be published cookbook author. My book is coming out next Friday. So super excited about that. Um, so for companies, my virtual cooking classes, by the way, this is what you would see if you hired me for a class or as an event or um, as part of your benefits package. This is where I stand. This is where I teach. Um, and uh, so my, my uh, classes are great for companies because they provide engagement between employees and connection, even if they do work in the office together, but great for work from home, great for geographically spread out as well. Um, they fall under health and wellness because my focus is on simple recipes using whole ingredients, um, fresh food. To, and what I found is when people take my classes, even if they're not really familiar with cooking, they get very comfortable also. Um, they start making healthier habits because once they start realizing how easy it is to make something that's fresh and good for you, um, they kind of start doing a little bit more of that. So healthier habits start to increase their productivity. Uh, we do cook along with full instruction. I never assume that someone knows what they're doing. Very little prep work in advance. So it's all done together. I provide cooking tips and tricks. And like I said, kitchen confidence for those people who feel like they just can't cook because they don't believe that I believe that anyone can cook. So um, there's also that great connection time afterwards after the class is done. Um, we work together for about an hour on Zoom. You can choose lunch or dinner. There's no maximum for number of attendees. And um, to uh, book one, minimum of two weeks lead time. And they can be done as a single event or as multiple throughout the year as the employer sponsored um, health and wellness benefit, obviously non-traditional benefit, but I love thinking out of the box. So um, I've worked with companies like Adobe and Pitney Bowes and other smaller companies. When the larger companies hire me, it's a small department that does so, but I've done anywhere from two people up to a hundred. I think we have one more slide. All right. So here's my fee structure um, based on number of employees, not based on number of attendees for the event, especially if it's being included as part of the benefits package. So um, you can see it up there and uh, feel free to reach out to me if you have questions, but I love teaching people to cook, love teaching people what I know in the kitchen and um, helping people out to make healthier choices. There's all my contact information, so thank you. Excellent, awesome, thanks Debbie. And I definitely like the part two where you can include like a shopping list, because I'll come to a cooking class, but you, I need help shopping sometimes too. Never know what to buy. Yeah, All you right. can a shopping now, list and also dietary substitutions are also really big factor for a lot of people. So I provide those as well. Yes, awesome. Excellent, thank yeah. you. Thank Next, you. we're gonna hear from Mike Vane from Wallet. I love this um, option as a benefit for when you are like, I wanna offer all of the things but I don't know how to do so many things. I really think the technology that Wallet provides allows you to kind of be more flexible with what you're offering your staff. Take it away, Mike. Great, thanks, Allison. Hi, everybody. I'm Mike, I'm the CEO of Wallet. Uh, Wallet's a cloud-based digital wallet platform. It's for employers to deliver flexible benefits to their distributed and diverse teams. Just as Alan said at the top of the call, delivering these benefits is more challenging than ever. And as the former head of uh, multiple employer-sponsored businesses at Fidelity Investments and Mercer in Boston, and then later as founder of my own companies, I saw firsthand how challenging it was. And there's this massive shift in the world where we have most companies moving from an office-based model to a hybrid remote model, which makes it even more challenging. Everything from your W-2 and 1099s to your part-time, uh, maybe your, your gig workers, it makes it very difficult. And, um, you know, for the first time, if you want to change the slide, Allison, for the first time in U.S. history, um, there's a labor shortage where the working age population is shrinking. Um, there's more jobs there are than people. And again, for the first time, U.S. population grew um, point, like 0.1 percent last year, which is the slowest rate since the nation was even founded. We've got baby boomers retiring um, and so it's very difficult to find jobs, especially in, jo in industries where there's a lot of turnover and, you know, the ability to provide those benefits that give people the tools that they need to, to be their best selves is very difficult. Um, and um, if you think about every company, they all have payroll, they all have accounting, but 
every company struggles with what benefits to offer. And it's getting harder and harder every day. By benefits, we mean, you know, benefits with a capital B. There's insurance, health insurance. There's health benefits, voluntary benefits, wellness benefits, which have expanded now to financial, physical, and mental. There's rewards and recognition. Uh, it's very difficult to, to create. There's great products, but bringing it all together is, is difficult. And, and we're in literally for the first time again in U.S. history, there are five generations in the workforce. And it's important for us to kind of set the table about how challenging it is. And at this time in the in the world, how hard it is, because, you know, the I think the the main premise of what we're doing behind Wallet is, is just as people want flexibility and where and when they work, they want and need the flexible benefits that match their lifestyles. And it's hard, especially if you have different ages and different genders and you have single you know, people that are single and people that are married. Um, we want we want to basically provide a new model that gives people the flexibility to choose what makes sense for them. And shifting from more of a you know one size fits all to to focusing on the needs of the works workplace um, and those workers within the workplace where they are is is what we think is needed. And and that's you know the, where the concept of lifestyle benefits comes in. And there's lots of names for these things. There's perk programs, there's lifestyle benefits, lifestyle spending accounts. But at the end of the day, what this does is a, it's a spending account that gives people the ability to, to easily get what they need, where and when they work, wherever they work, wherever they're, you know, they're living. And um, what Wallet does is if you, um, we're different in the sense that we provide a platform that gives people the freedom to choose. They use any card. They link any debit or credit card to wallet. They can use that anywhere in store or online globally. And one of the biggest pluses of what we're doing is, is that we give these payments in real time. They're instant payouts to the, to the workforce. They don't have to wait for payroll. They don't have to wait to file receipts. And we're combining all of these different things in different categories from food to fitness, to working from home, to student debt repayment. Even, you know, if you think about uh, some of the voluntary benefits um, where you've got, um, you know, dental and vision and critical illness and accident insurance, all of that can be purchased within Wallet with our with the three core products that we have. We have lifestyle spending account where you're, you're actually um, given an allowance to be basically get the benefits that you need. Um, there's, we've coupled rewards and recognition to motivate incentivize teams based on, you know, whatever you need, whether that's a special achievement or staying late on a Friday, coming in on the weekends, just, you know, everybody's working harder than ever. So having an incentive program that's coupled with that. And then finally for the small into, you know, SMB and the mid market, um, having also, uh, a more automated streamlined way to manage expense reimbursements and claims managements for your, your benefits. These are the three products that we've brought together with wallet. And um, as I mentioned earlier, you'll have the access, the ability to get all of these. What we're doing is ex um, we're, we're assembling all these different carrier providers where you can get these different benefits, all streamlined, one, one set of workflows, uh, all the data is one place, one unified experience. And so who's Wallet good for? Wallet's good for just about any company, large and small. Um, but I think it's it's predominantly for companies that are trying to scale their teams and they don't want the administrative burden of having to manage multiple solutions. So anyone with growing teams, it's specifically good with the, you know, the gig economy. Um, you, if you've got independent workers that are 1099s, typically they're not even getting benefits. Um, if you have people that are distributed and you're trying to manage different cultures, but you want to create a consistent culture around these benefits, and specifically those companies that are trying to deal with turnover, turnover with skilled workers in, in the marketplace. So it's it's really, um, it's not a one size fits all, but it, it creates that adaptability and flexibility for companies that are really trying to create those cultures of collaboration. Um, it's the easiest way and fastest way to provide benefits and to pay your people above compensation. That's wallet. Awesome. Thanks so much, Mike. That's great. Um, and I really do like it for that flexibility because you can kind of morph it to where you're wanting your wanting to meet your people. Um, speaking of flexibility, um, remote workers are still definitely prevent, prevalent and, and relevant in our market space right now. Um, these are some opportunities for giving benefits to your remote workers. Some of these do also translate into in-house workers, so it's not strictly for remote, but if you do have a remote team, some things to think about, depending on your industry, perhaps a four-day work week, uh, childcare reimbursements, standing desks, 
I love my standing desk. I recommend this for an internal benefit as well as a at home. One that makes me smile, which hopefully would make your team smile, a plant subscription. So getting your, your humans that are not in the office a plant subscription so they get plants in their home. Maybe the plants get changed out. Um, and access to co-working space. A lot of times our staff working from home enjoys working from home, but they're missing that human interaction. So having a common space that they could drop into maybe once every other week, uh, co-working space, even if it's not with your humans and it's just co-working in general, but allowing them that access is also a great benefit. So those are some great ideas for remote workers. Next, we are gonna go over to Micah Adders and Micah is with Onsite Solutions. This to me is like taking your health insurance benefits and putting it on steroids. Um, a lot of our clients come from the trades. A lot of our clients' employees have health insurance but do nothing with it. Uh, I think Micah and his program really helps take that whole wellness side and, and really enhances it. So take it away, Micah. All right, Micah Aders, by the way. <laughs> Someday I'll get it, Micah. You always, yeah. Um, so some of these things have already been touched on. It's pretty much, much the reason why we're uh, all here is, you know, the things that are listed here, skyrocketing, skyrocketing insurance costs, absenteeism, lack of productivity, hiring difficulties, high turnover rates, poor morale. So um, what we offer at on-site health solutions um, can actually help with in all of these areas. Um, so just a little bit uh, about myself, that's uh, me and my wife, Ashley. Uh, we have three little boys, three, five, and seven. Um, and we've been in New Hampshire for about nine years. I'm actually also uh, an airline pilot uh, for JetBlue. And uh, Ashley uh, went to University of Florida and uh, is a nurse, but right now she's uh, just taking care of the boys. Um, we love to spend time outside. We love... Um, fitness. So um, what we're doing with Onsite Health Solutions is really something we believe in and we um, we practice in day to day ourselves. Um, yep. So uh, this is just part of our team. Uh, Onsite Health Solutions actually started in Kentucky 30 years ago and the founder is Dave Berkmeyer in the top uh, left picture there. Um, and then uh, Josh is our medical advisor, Katie and Brittany uh, work in the office down in Kentucky, and um, they're a great support to me up here in New England. Just for instance, we're going to do a demo for our um, wellness platform a little bit later this afternoon, and Katie and Dave are going to jump on the call with me to make sure that we can uh, answer all the questions that uh, the business has um, on the wellness platform. All right, so. Um, some things that we offer, um, I, I talked about the wellness platform just now, so we'll start there and, and I've got a little bit more about that coming up, but um, it's, uh, it's, so at JetBlue, we have a wellness platform, so I'm very familiar with them. We've had a couple actually while I've been there. And what's unique about this platform is that um, there's a lot of gamification that can um, be programmed into it. You can um, have your employees challenge each other uh, in different ways. Like, you know, for instance, if they wanted to challenge each other to uh, run a 5k, you know, or run five miles, three miles um, so many times per month and challenge each other in that way, they can do that. Um, the employer can set up different incentives um, to drive healthy habits among their employees. And the cool thing about um, that, our platform is that it's very customizable. So, you know, Allison was talking about the trades, what might work for a company that is a, is in the trades might not be what works um, for an insurance company because the demographics are different. And so what we can do is we can partner with the employer um, to determine what is going to be most effective uh, in driving healthy habits among their workforce. Um, so the preventative screenings, that's uh, biometric screenings and um, just like our name says on site, we will come on site um, and send a team to do the biometric screenings um, at the place of business. So we'll um, handle that from all the way from scheduling 
in the beginning to doing the screening. And then at the end, we'll input all the data into the wellness platform. Um, and then the employer can pull aggregated results um, to track the progress of their employees, not uh, for HIPAA reasons, obviously not individual, but they can track results um, as a group. Um, we can do COVID testing. Um, we have access to um, pretty much any lab test that a doctor can order, we can also order. So, and we can do it cheaper. And one of the cool things about that is while we're on site, if an employee wanted to have something tested that we don't test with our biometric screenings, we could either add it on right there or we could write them um, a script to go to the lab and get it done. And that would save them a trip to their doctor, uh, which would save them money in the long run. Um, so I've already talked about some of this with the digital uh, wellness platform, um, talked about how it's customizable and flexible. Um, it doesn't just focus on physical. Um, it focuses on all aspects of wellness, kind of like that. I think it was the second slide that Allison showed about how benefits now is much more broad. Um, and so is wellness. It covers, you know, emotional, social, financial, all kinds of different areas of people's life. So we're here to support in those ways as well. Um, and then, like I talked about with it being customizable, um, what we want to do is we want to create an effective wellness program because an effective wellness program actually works. Just having a wellness program doesn't necessarily do anything. There needs to be some thought and organization behind it. Um, so why choose uh, on-site health solutions? Like I said, uh, Dave and his team have been uh, doing this for 30 years. Uh, so they got lots of experience. Um, we Things I've already pretty much touched on here. It's customizable. We, we really want to partner with employers. We don't just wanna come in and tell them what their wellness program should be. We wanna be there to listen and make it as effective as possible. Awesome. And my contact information is there at the bottom. Awesome, thanks, Micah. I also think this is a great solution too if you're trying to encourage your teams to be healthier. Uh, we all see the rising cost of healthcare and one of the ways you can help mitigate that. And even just like we had talked about, your staff showing up to work because they're feeling well is through these type of programs. So I think it definitely uh, is a great one. Um, next, I'm gonna to touch on professional headshots. I think a lot of times people think headshot, immediately they think marketing, they think benefit to the company, but headshots can also be a benefit to your staff. I know personally, my team, every time we hire someone, it's part of our onboarding process. So we pay for them, we do use them in marketing, but my team gets the benefit of having a professional headshot done that they can then go and use in their own life. So we allow them to use it on all their social media, any business things, non-business or business. Um, headshots can range anywhere from 150 to 450. I would strongly encourage finding a photographer that works with you that you enjoy and having a relationship with one person. We personally used uh, Tracy Gregoire Photography and I am logged into my business partner. I just realized it also says her name. My business partner's login, uh, but this is her headshot done by Tracy. The photo of me at the beginning was also a Tracy Gregoire. All the photography on our website of our team is Tracy. Her contact information I'll share with you guys when we send out uh, the after after marketing stuff. Um, but it's great. It also sends a, a good message to your clients and your customers, uh, having that professional same look across and feel of all of your media and things like that. But it is something that does allow them to kind of express themselves. And it's that added bonus of I didn't have to pay for a headshot. Next, we are going to hear from Scott with Simplify You. Uh, this one, as an HR professional, I love. I can guarantee anyone that has staff has had that employee show up and complain that they can't afford their lifestyle, they can't afford this, they can't afford that. Yes, they have a Dunkin' Donuts coffee in their hand. They come with one every day. They eat out lunch all the time. Um, somewhere in these generations, we have lost the ability to manage money and make decisions correctly with money and have good relationships with money. And that's really where Scott comes in uh, with Simplify You. So Scott, take it away. Thanks, Allison. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. And 
Thank you to Allison, Tony, and the Blue Lion team for inviting me to this webinar. I'm excited to be here. Um, so again, my name is Scott Townsend. I'm a money coach. Um, I created Simplify You with the mission to help people simplify their financial lives through coaching, enabling them to live life on their own terms. I help my clients with things like managing the day-to-day -day of their financial life. So where a financial advisor's focus is more on the long term with investing and retirement planning, I focus on the short term and day-to-day -day aspects of my client's financial life. Cash flow management and budgeting is a big focus area for my clients, helping to bring awareness and intentionality to their spending. Debt payoff strategies is another focus, helping clients make sense of their debt and how to attack paying it off. I also help clients understand their credit reports and credit scores, educate them around the factors that make up a credit score, and help put a plan in place to improve their credit score. Ultimately, I help clients carve out more of what they make so they can increase their savings rate to save for their financial goals, whether those are short-term or long-term. And by being their guide and accountability partner and helping them manage their money more effectively, I help them reduce their stress related to money and build their confidence with money moving forward. <clears throat> So let's look at a problem many HR directors face. Employees asking for higher compensation where the employee's mismanagement of their own money could be the real problem. Can you relate to this issue as an HR director? If so, then I offer personal finance seminars for your employees to help educate them on some basic financial topics. There's also the opportunity for your employers to do an individual money coaching session and coaching program with me to help address the day-to-day -day financial issues in their lives. The results or benefits from this, employees who go through this seminar and coaching will be less focused on getting higher compensation, easing the burden on the HR directors, and the employees gain confidence with managing their money, reduce their stress around money, and become more intentional with their time and money. So let's look at these benefits offerings a, a bit closer. My standard seminar is Personal Finance 101, where we cover topics such as compounding, protections, cash flow, debt payoff, credit, et cetera. The cost is $150 for a one hour virtual seminar or $250 for a one hour in person seminar. For custom seminar topics specified by the employer, this cost would be negotiated. The seminar would be paid by the employer and free for the employees to attend. For the coaching sessions, I start with a free introductory call where we discuss the employee situation, determine if there's a mutual fit for coaching, and set expectations for what coaching would look like. For those employees who want to proceed with coaching, we then do a two-hour coaching session that is focused on the most pressing issue for the employee, where we strategize on how to resolve their situation and agree on a plan to execute. This two-hour coaching session is $295. For those employees who want or need me to guide them through the execution of this plan and be their accountability partner, this is where the coaching program comes into play. I meet with the employee for one hour per week, and this program's duration is typically three to six months, depending on the situation. The cost of the coaching program is $395 per month. The coaching session and coaching program would both be paid by the employee, but the employer could reimburse a portion of the cost if desired. The combination of a personal finance seminar and individual coaching can be a great benefit to your employees to help them reduce their stress around money gain confidence with managing their finances, and lead to a better work-life balance overall. Thanks for your time, and please reach out if you have any questions. Thanks, Allison. Awesome, Scott. Thanks. That was awesome. And I think you really hit the nail on the head. Uh, every HR person loves when people come and ask for more money, but yet there's <laughs> nothing different. Hey, I just bought this house. I need a raise. But you're still doing the same job. Great. We'll talk about it. All right. Next, we're going to hear from Jake King from Thrive Outdoor. 
Uh, my team actually had the opportunity the last two years, uh, part of our company outing when we get our team together, because we are fully remote, uh, we have had the opportunity to go to Thrive Outdoor, which is indoor, but it's awesome. Uh, so I love it as a team building. I think it's great for kind of being, bringing the team together, but there's also a lot more that they do uh, with their clients. So Jake, take it away and tell us what you got. Awesome. Thank you, Allison, and everybody else who's presented so far. Um, so I'll get through these slides kind of in a strange way because that's how I work. Um, our why is really, just like it says on the slide, trying to help other people figure out what their why is. Um, and we do that in individual settings. We do it in corporate settings, community settings. We work with schools. Um, and I think it's important to kind of tell you about how Thrive Outdoor started. Uh, I am one of the founding owners and along with my brother who is a medical doctor and my good friend Vinny who is a therapist, we developed all the curriculum for Thrive Outdoors based on um, wilderness survival principles. And that's important uh, because those principles have a, a really healthy application to everyday life and wellness in every day. I'm a former army ranger, former police officer. Uh, I worked at uh, several different homeless shelters as the director. And it was actually at those homeless shelters that we started to develop what we saw as a really, really easy to follow new mindset training for um, stress management, which is what basically what we do is we boil everything down to stress management, healthy teams, healthy leaders, help healthy communities, help healthy companies, um, a good company culture. Uh, they're all the one thing they all have in common. Uh, they all know how to deal with stress and how to help each other th work through stress. Um, next slide, please. Thank you. Um, so the primary thing we do is team building. <clears throat> um, and there's a lot on that slide, so I'm not going to read it to you. Um, but what, uh, what we're really the most proud of is we create individual uh, programs for whomever it is we are working for. In other words, um, a lot of agencies will come in and they'll tell us that their primary issue is communication. They, they have large communication gaps. We develop and take the best uh, team builder activities and initiatives for, for helping with communication. And we build that into our event with the agency we're working with. Um, a lot of agencies come in and they have serious issues with diverse backgrounds and people who just can't get along. Um, and we will develop something very specific for, for that agency and, and program. Um, and it's, and again, it all comes from one foundational curriculum and, and program setting, which is really important because I have been doing this for uh, almost 30 years in different settings. And I still work for some other leadership and team development agencies. And they, we started this company primarily because they just really dropped the ball. It's about having a fun event together and now you're a better team. And that is just not, that is not how that really works. So one of the things we do is hire only the most experienced um, and well-rounded facilitators from the state. And that's why we still, or actually from all of New England, we work all over the place. Um, but that's really why we can be so impactful is we can hire the right people to fit whomever it is we're working with. Um, next slide, please. <clears throat> Um, we also do uh, retreat and event planning. That's actually my, my, my most recent business partner, Melanie, who Allison has met and likes a lot more than she likes me. Um, but she is actually, uh, she's done this most of her life. She's a professional wedding photographer. She's worked in the hotel industry. She does most of our retreat and event planning. And we, um, we have recently found out that we excel in this field completely compared to a lot of the other agencies that are doing it. So this is a new added value for us. Um, and it still all comes from the same foundational um, place of trying to teach people how to manage stress, how to work in community, uh, how to work as a team and, and just kind of be a healthy culture together. Uh, next slide. 
We also have a space right here in Manchester, New Hampshire. This is kind of our, so we are a local agency. We travel all over, but we're local. We have our community leadership center right here on Elm Street in Manchester. That's where Allison has come the last two times. Um, and we can do almost anything here. We do Nerf Wars. We do um, low ropes courses, as you can see in the pictures. We do, we do seminars. We do, we just, we can do anything that, you need. Um, plus, we rent the space for parties or for for um, team meetings, anything like that. Next slide. Um, these are discounts that we offer. Any any employee um, based agency who comes to us gets a whole bunch of the things that we do, either free or discounted for the rest of eternity. We are truly about trying to build culture and community. Um, so this is an added value. If you come here for a team builder and then you want to come back for one of our Nerf League nights, which, by the way, adults love the Nerf League more than kids do. It's a lot of fun. Um, you come at a highly discounted rate. Uh, and one of the things that is really important, uh, corporate programs. So when we do team builders, and I know I'm over my time, Allison, I'm almost done. When we do team builders, when we do leadership retreats with corporations we charge the fair price but that all of that goes to supporting our staff and our agency in offering free or discounted programs for um, inner city youth at risk youth uh, recovery programs uh, we really have team and culture at the heart of what we do so check us out um, I don't know if my info is on any of these slides there, there's some info for you um, and thanks for listening. Awesome. Thanks, Jake. And I will tell you, anyone that has employees, uh, when you go to Jake's facility, do the Nerf war because there's nothing more satisfying than shooting your business partner with a Nerf gun several times yes. until it jammed. But I still got her for the record. So everyone knows I won the Nerf fight. Um, unlimited PTO, it's another benefit. A lot of times when people hear unlimited PTO, they think, you've lost your mind. You think I'm gonna give my staff unlimited time off. Uh, to be very clear, it is a figure of speech, meaning they can't be out for 365 days. That's not how this works. What it essentially says is, I trust that you as an employee are going to take the time that you need as a human and no more nor no less. We do often see this is more offered in the uh, professional spaces doctors, lawyers, um, high tech industries. This is a very common benefit that they're offering. We are starting to see it a lot more in um, other office atmospheres. The thing to keep in mind is when you're creating these policies, obviously make sure you're writing the policy thoroughly. You wanna make sure that you're um, requiring a minimum amount of time. So a lot of companies that implement an unlimited time their employees actually take less time off than they would if you gave them a specific amount. So you do want to require a minimum amount of time because time off does help avoid things like burnout. Um, you also, by having an unlimited policy, a lot of times will make yourself compliant with individual state laws. So this is a great avenue um, to go if you're a multi-state employer. So anytime we have multi-state employers, you have to focus on every state you operate in and make sure you're in compliance. This is kind of like an umbrella to cover that. Uh, definitely an up and coming policy that and, and benefit that we're seeing offered more and more as we continue. Speaking of great benefits, next we're going to hear from Will Mumper with Aflac. Uh, personally, I've had several situations with clients where situations have arisen with staff that had they not had Aflac, they would have been in a lot of financial trouble, uh, but they were fortunate enough to have Aflac. So I definitely personally have several AFAC plans. I'm a, a huge proponent of supplemental insurance, but Will, tell us what you got. You're on mute, Will. Well, it's 2023. Well, you were That's doing me. everything else for me. I figured, <laughs> you know, it might unmute me automatically. I don't know. Um, well, thank you, every presenter before me, for doing a lot of my legwork and explaining why you need more benefits. So I was really kind of able to focus on all that. Like, especially Mike, he was a like he basically did two minutes of my presentation. Um, so through AFLAC, you're able to offer a few different benefits. 
all of which can be at whatever level of cost the company would like to offer. Often it's totally employee sponsored, which is totally fine, but you're basically able to offer up a buffet style of benefits really towards whatever your company may need. So say you had a high deductible health plan year over year, you're needing to explain to your clients or, you know, someone you work with saying, I know guys, the deductible is going up. It stinks, but it is what it is. That's the market. Well, you can give them plans and options to reinsure themselves against scenarios in which deemed really realistic for their own life. So like myself, I'm a 30 year old male. I looked at life insurance, I have some level of disability, and I have the accident plan. Those are the things that in cancer plan, because I have a familial history of cancer. That's what I felt like really suited my needs. But for another employee, it might be something totally different. So you're able to carve out these plans, make them available to the employees, so they can pick and choose what they feel as though the gap is for them. Um, how it helps you as an employer is that you're able to beef up that uh, that, oh my God, why am I spacing on Indeed, Monster, all these other things. You're able to add in a whole different column of different benefits in which now you offer the employees, it virtually costs you nothing. As a matter of fact, just like the health insurance, you can pre-tax many of them. You're actually saving money by being able to offer more. So it's a really nice way of being able to reinsure not only yourselves, but show your employees you care, even if they aren't participating in any of these benefits, which is true of not only my benefits, so I'm guessing I'm gonna give a plug to everyone here, not just my benefits, but any benefit. You know, it shows that you are trying to provide solutions to those employees and that you care, you wanna keep them there as opposed to, they don't need benefits. They won't partake in that. So it's a really nice way of having that peace of mind. Uh, you can go to the next slide. I hardly ever use PowerPoint. So I typically just talk and talk. I don't know if you realize that BNI, I like, I'm very off the cuff. Um, so a few different product features for the employees. It's guaranteed issue, um, many of the products. So like short-term disability, it's year over year guaranteed issue. So oftentimes you find that companies, they have a guarantee issue offering. However, after the first year that goes away, that's not true with Aflac. We're never going to break up with an employee for using the policy too many times, or are we going to jack the price up on them for using the policy? I like to explain it like we're like a needy person in a relationship. You can leave us, but we won't leave you. We promise. Um, also, like I mentioned, the freedom of choice. Employee could pick option A or option B, C, whatever they want, whatever they think suits their needs. So it's not a yay or nay AFLAC. It's really that buffet style. And when it comes to claims, I don't just present the information to employees, educate them on that, and then turn into a ghost. They get my personal cell phone number so that they, they can reach out to me, ask questions, because I anticipate their retention factor is probably about 40% of what I say, and that's pretty optimistic. I expect them to call and be like, I broke my leg, what do I do? And that's about what I expect from the employee. Uh, next slide, because I realized five minutes goes by way faster than you thought. Uh, so there's an accident plan, physical injury protection plan, helps support you whether you be on or off the job injuries. What this also does for you as an employer would allow you to have your employees have a correct way of not utilizing workers' comp because 60% of workers' comp claims happen on a Monday morning. If I know that AFLAC is going to pay me for that injury that occurs on Sunday because I got shot in the eye with a Nerf gun um, by my coworker, Allison. Um, it's a nice way of knowing that I have a proper way of going and getting that financial support as opposed to claiming it happened Monday morning. Uh, go to the next slide. Here's an example of a payout of a gentleman who got hit by a drunk driver. Um, it was a really you know, substantial claim. That's all money sent directly to them, not to the doctor or the hospital. It goes well above and beyond their co-payments, co-insurances, really giving them that peace of mind to know that I have $10,540 coming in for that initial visit. I'm not worried about the financial aspect of injury, just the actual injury itself. Next slide. 
Uh, there's also other plans as well, hospital, cancer. I'm not gonna dive too much into those, but really we can design these plans to fit your needs. So if you find that through your health plan or even if you don't offer benefits, there's a huge gap in your coverage we can have a consultation and kind of fit that gap and really kind of support your employees in whatever way you feel appropriate. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks, Will. Next, we're going to talk about one of my favorites, uh, which is the on-site chair massage. Um, if anyone's ever not had a massage, I'm sorry, but they're definitely necessary. I actually have a colleague of mine who is a CPA, and during tax season, her staff often works on the weekends. And she utilizes this as an incentive to get them there on Saturday. So she brought in chair massages every Saturday during tax season. She goes, if they're coming in on a Saturday, they can have a 15 minute massage. It got them to work. She got the taxes done uh, for her clients. So um, on-site chair massages are great. It's just, usually it's a 10 to 15 minute or 15 to 20 minute chair massage. It's not, nobody's getting naked. We're not getting on tables, um, but it's really great benefit because it relieves that stress. And I can guarantee every one of your employees is going to be talking about how awesome it was to come to work, get a 20 minute break to have a massage. Um, we personally, I, I use a massage therapist out of Bedford, um, Megan LeBlanc, which is with Clear uh, Essentials and Clear Essential Studios. And I will send her information along with all of the other stuff, but there's a lot of uh, massage therapists that'll do the on site, So definitely something to look into. And most of our staff, one of their number one complaints is stress. So this is a great added bonus to kind of help alleviate that stress. And, you know, I heard you, you're stressed. Here's a chair massage. Next, we are going to hear from Courtney Costello. Courtney is with Nutrition, New England Nutrition Advisors. These benefits to me are really something that helps bridge that gap. A lot of us know what we're not supposed to do, which is eat gross foods. Um, sometimes when I go out with Courtney, I, I try and eat healthier. Um, so it helps, but a lot of times our staff is making unhealthy decisions just because they don't know how to make the right decisions, or they just need that little extra help on how to be more nutritious. We've all heard the statistics, uh, on why wellness is important. Um, but it's definitely something that will help, help your staff, a show up to work, be more productive, have more energy. So this is another one of those benefits that kind of is a no-brainer. Take it away, Courtney. Thanks, Allison. Um, uh, you, I mean, you basically did my presentation for me, so thanks for that. Um, <laughs> my name is Courtney Costello. I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist. Um, we have a practice of six dietitians throughout New England. We do virtual one-on-one -on -one nutrition counseling in addition to our worksite wellness program, which I'll talk about. So, um, you know, we created worksite wellness because Research shows that when our environment is suitable for healthy choices, we tend to make more healthy choices. When we're surrounded by people who make healthy choices, we make healthier choices too, right, Allison? If, you, if you're eating healthier around me because I'm just present, I mean, that's like 60% of my job. Americans spend on average seven hours at work. Um, if we can take advantage of this time and create he a healthy workplace culture, we can increase productivity by 6% and reduce absenteeism by about 4.5%. 4. The average return on investment for worksite wellness programs is $4 for every $1 spent. Additionally, healthcare costs are increasing 5% year after year, um, probably more recently, uh, but at least half of Americans have diabetes or pre-diabetes, and it's um, estimated to be more like two thirds by 2050. So it's a serious problem that needs to be addressed, and we can start by making healthier choices where Americans spend a large portion of their day, which is at work. Um, the objective is to create a healthy culture in the workplace environment. I know many employers are looking for ways to bring employees back into the office, like Allison said. So providing healthy lunches alongside worksite wellness program um, is a great start to um, this initiative and definitely a win-win for the employee and the employer. So how it works, um, we have th um, 30 to 45 minute interactive presentations that can be done online or in person with a variety of different topics. This is just a small selection of the um, topics that we have. Uh, and if there's something specific that you want me or one of our other dietitians to talk about, we're more than happy to uh, create a presentation around that. I've done this uh, a lot of different times for certain employers. The um, 
the program allows for unlimited one-on-ones with the dietitian online or in person. So again, if you want to bring people into the office and do one-on-ones, usually um, I sort of come in, see employees before the lunch and learn type of presentation. Then I come in, do the presentation, and then I can see people in an office space um, within that place if you want me in person um, after the presentation as well. We also send flyers to the company as a means to pr pr promote the program. And then um, we work with employees to schedule those one-on-ones with me or the other dietitian. And those one-on-ones are um, often covered by health insurance. So um, a great way to take advantage of the benefits that employees are already paying for and that the employers are already paying for. And then we have some specific program options. It's really a flexible program. Um, I've done a lot of different types of programs for different companies that wanted unique certain challenges within the office. Maybe they wanted a walk challenge or they wanted to work on reducing sugar or increasing you know, servings of vegetables. We can do like specific challenges at, at different intervals. I've been part of like a more widespread worksite wellness program where there's different focuses every quarter. Um, or you know you can just do standalone presentations. I've done one on um, uh, mental health and nutrition, the role that they play together. Um, I think recently it was like Mental Health Awareness Day or something. But I do know that I think May is Mental Health Month. Um, so I've done some presentations there. And the in-person or online presentations that are 30 to 45 minutes can either be bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly. It really depends on what your specific you know, health committee objectives are. Go to the next slide, Allison. So thank you so much for the opportunity to present here again. Uh, my name is Courtney Costello. I own New England Nutrition Advisors and here's my information. Thanks, Courtney. And I think it's also really important too to just reiterate that a lot of times this is covered by insurance. So for as an employer, it's a reduced cost to add an additional benefit. So we're just getting benefits and not adding to the cost. So not having to pull out of our benefit budget for that, which is great. And even just adding a dietitian kind of to your like list of people that they can refer to. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Um, next benefit is sabbaticals for long-term employees. My company actually added this this past year and a couple of people said I was crazy. Um, my staff, after they've been with us for 10 years, gets a four week sabbatical. Uh, so it's usually when you have sabbaticals, it is a long-term employee. So it's not something they're getting after a year or two or three. Most commonly it's after at least five, but typically it is that 10 year mark. And the way that I thought about this when we were rolling it out is if you have a woman that has a child, they're gone for six weeks that to care for the child, the business still operates, everything still functions. Humans that choose not to or are incapable of never really get that four weeks off. So I went to my business partner and I said, I want to have a vacation too. Um, so anyways, these are great ways to kind of show your staff, like we get how much dedication you've given our company after 10 years. We want you to now take time to just be you, just do something. Um, when you are writing the policy, you want to make sure that there are some things that you're including, like stipulations of how long they're able to take consecutively, that it has to be taken consecutively, whether it's paid, unpaid, how things like that work, um, and also keeping in mind if there's any gap in uh, tenure. So let's say someone's there five years, leaves for a year, comes back, does the clock restart, and how do those things work? Anytime you need help writing policies, definitely don't hesitate to reach out, but uh, sabbaticals for long-term leave is one of my new favorites. Now I just got to make it 10 years. Um, all right, next we have Renee Bayless with Bayless Insurance. This is actually a benefit that I like because a lot of times, again, companies think we have to be spending money to add benefits, spending money to add benefits, spending money to add ben benefits. Most times the things our staff needs is just convenience. They just need someone to bring the opportunity in front of them so that they can have what they need without having to spend their at-home time figuring things out. So this is a great way to do that. Take it away, Renee. Good afternoon. My name is Renee Bayless. I am the owner of Bayless Insurance with my husband. We're a local agency um, and we insure both business and personal lines. I am so excited to get to share this with you guys because I have never heard of this um, through another company. So I think this is gonna be a great resource that people can use to leverage as they're looking for those employees. 
we've had a conversation already today about how people are returning to the office or maybe they don't want to return to the office and what do they use their car um, we all know the more miles we drive the higher our premium goes up for our auto insurance and being able to be an employer who says i see you i understand that i'm now asking you to come back and that's going to put you at a higher mileage rate but we have this auto discount so what does this look like all you need to do is connect with me and then put out a marketing plan so you'll see right here you do not need to move your business insurance over to us thank you for being proactive Allison. you don't need to move your um, business insurance over to us there is no premium that you need to pay in order to sign up for this now we're ready what you are going to do is you're just going to communicate that you found this resource to your employees and you are going to do that in two ways that's what we ask of you. We understand that time as an employer equals money it's not just a fiscal payout that might be something that takes away from your bottom line for that day. So we'll sit down with you, we create an individualized plan, you only need to select two ways to put that out to your employees once they want to sign up for that. We verify with your HR to make sure that they are an active employee and they haven't um, parted ways with you and tried to take advantage of the program. And then we manage that appointment with them. We don't need to meet them at your workplace. You no longer need to be involved. We'll sit down with them. We'll review their personal auto coverage with them and we'll be able to make sure to see if we're a good fit or not. So it's really not something that costs you money or a good amount of your time. The other thing that's nice with this is we all know inflation has been a big part of the conversation that we're having with those around us. That includes our vehicles. Insurance premiums are going to be going up. So this is a nice way to just help combat that and show that your employees that you care and offer that alternative. So I threw my QR code on there that gives you direct access to my calendar. Feel free to scan that. You can set up a time with me and we can talk further. Thank you so much, Allison, for this opportunity. Thanks, Renee, that's great. Um, also on top of auto, she can help them with their home and all their toys and snowmobiles and fun. So it's definitely a great enhancement. Um, a, lot of, a lot of employees don't realize that there are people out there that can help with shopping around for their insurance and getting better rates. So it's definitely an added benefit. Uh, so just to kind of wrap up uh, some more things that we didn't necessarily have slides for, but just other ideas to keep in mind. Uh, mindful app subscriptions. So a lot of people are using those calming apps now. Maybe you provide that subscription to your staff. Audible or Kindle subscriptions, a vacation stipend, career coaching, um, car washing or detailing. So there are services where people will come on site to do car detailing. And I don't know about you, but if my boss paid for my car to get clean, I would be super stoked. Maybe you can do that in combination with your birthday. So like a birthday, for your birthday, you get your car cleaned. Uh, gym reimbursement. Gym reimbursements you can do with or without uh, uh, usage reporting. So you could have your employees report back that they actually utilize the gym that you're paying for, or you can just let them have the free Planet Fitness so they feel like they're going. Um, not that I would ever do that. Um, and then um, some quarterly financial meetings with an advisor and things like that. So these are just some more ideas to keep uh, on the table. So recapping, just keeping in mind that besides offering these, you do want to make sure that you're looking at all different kinds of benefits, making sure that you're taking into consideration what your employees are asking for. We always recommend doing surveys. You may think your employees care about one thing when really it's something else. And also make sure that you're researching local things. So a lot of times you, you know, heard from a lot of local businesses today, local businesses love working with local businesses. So don't ever hesitate to be reaching out to local companies and saying like, hey, I know you're a bakery around the corner. Would you provide a discount of 10% to my staff if they chose to come get their coffee and bagel at your restaurant instead of Dunkin' Donuts when they come in? Now I love Dunkin' Donuts. I'm not bashing Dunkin' Donuts. But working with those local companies, you may be able to get little small perks for uh, your staff as well. So don't ever hesitate to kind of keep your eyes open for things like that and opportunities. Really quick, because I wouldn't be uh, doing my job if I didn't do a shameless plug. Uh, what does Blue Lion offer? So we are again, an outsourced HR consulting company. We do things like hourly consulting, 
we can help with creating policies for things that we talked about today, like that unlimited PTO policy. Um, we also can help you benefit, you know, help you bring together a better benefit package and consult on what you're doing currently, help run those surveys. We do fully outsourced HR. We also help with uh, gap coverage. So if you have an HR person leaving and you need to fill the gap till you get a new one, we can do that as well. Um, here's my team, my contact information. Again, all of the information from today's presentation, the slide deck, contact information, and some marketing material for all of our presenters uh, is going to be sent out to everyone who participated and signed up for today's presentation. So I would just like to thank everyone uh, that presented for taking your time out of your day to come on today to make this another great unique benefits in the workplace. Thanks, everyone.